All right, college students getting an education in more than just reading, writing, and arithmetic. From tense protests to resignations to questions of free speech and safe spaces, it was a wild year on campuses across the country. Sterling Beard is editor in chief for Campus Reform and joins us now. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. So you have a list of so many things that happened this year on campus. I want to get your thoughts on three of them uh, that really stuck out and, and, and probably moments we'll remember for a very long time. University of Minnesota, 14 on your list, where the student government, they didn't want to remember 9-11 this year or do a moment of silence. They said it would violate our safe space. Your thoughts? Exactly. Well, the problem is, is that so many college students these days are so morbidly terrified of offending their fellow students or perhaps you know, inciting racist hatred that they are totally unwilling to take a step back, pause for a moment, and gain some perspective. As a matter of fact, the uh, student government at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, a uh, student senator there, I believe, said that he was concerned that having a uh, moment of silence and remembrance for victims of 9-11 would cause Islamophobia on campus to spike. And of course, that's an absurd mm -hmm. argument, but it's the sort of thing we see every day at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. Yeah, if there's anything we should all come together on, it's a moment of silence once a year for 9-11. All right, number 12, Dartmouth. Uh, this happened less than two months ago. A Black Lives Matter protest ends up getting way out of hand. Then to make matters worse, the vice provost uh, for student affairs and others sided with the protesters and apologized to them for the media coverage they were getting, the negative responses. Uh, obviously, it didn't end so well uh, when the head of the school got involved. No, it didn't. As a matter of fact, uh, Ingley Samir, the uh, vice provost that you were discussing, actually had to apologize after the Dartmouth Review, the uh, conservative campus paper at Dartmouth, actually uh, wrote about her story. We picked it up in Campus Reform. And so that's the sort of thing that was so disappointing to see at Dartmouth. This is an Ivy League college. It is an extremely prestigious school. It is a, full of very smart students. But what you saw was this sort of total breakdown, this protest that you were discussing that uh, took place in Bakerberry Library there, reportedly included incidents of verbal and physical intimidation as students were told to stand up and were uh, harassed and called racist, ep uh, reportedly called race, uh, racist epithets by other students. But Pro uh, President Phil Hanlon, to his credit, said uh, in a uh, school-wide email that the uh, college was going to be looking at all reported incidents of violations of college policy. So it remains to be seen exactly what will come out of that, but at least the administration there is beginning to sort of look at mm. this protest and say, we can't let that sort of, you know, wild and uh, sort of incident happen on our campus. Yeah, someone's got to take control. All right, Missouri, a professor resigns following outrage over his refusal to cancel the final exam, which you say was a setback for the cause of academic freedom. Well, absolutely. Dr. Dale Brigham had actually refused to cancel the exam, based, you know, saying that there are racist bullies out there, and if we give in to racial intimidation, they win. He actually had a lot of media pressure brought onto him because he refused to cancel classes. And as a matter of fact, he attempted to resign from the university in sort of a protest move. The university refused to accept his resignation. And he's an extremely well-beloved professor. We had several students, I believe, who told us that you know they really liked the guy. And it's really unfortunate, but that's the sort of pressure that you see now being put on college professors who are even just trying to do their job if they ignore the wider political and sort of social things that are going on. Look at what happened at Yale University with the administrators there who dared to say that perhaps, you know, uh, warning students that uh, they shouldn't wear offensive Halloween costumes was maybe overstepping the bounds of the university, maybe pushing a little too far on free speech. Mm. They were, uh, they had to actually sort of give up their teaching position for the upcoming year, I believe, because they were so concerned about whether or not students were going to be able to listen to them. They were, you saw the video, of course, there was that viral video where one of the administrators had a student screaming at him that his job was not to teach at Yale. It wasn't to create a learning environment. It was to create that fabled safe space. Yeah. The one place you should feel safe is a college campus. It was a very busy year for 2015. Sterling Beard, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure.